When one thinks of the elements, this is probably what comes to mind. Fire. Air. Water. However, these four simply aren't enough. Instead, in today's video, we're basing our designs around these elements. Our first design is smoke, which is a sub-element of fire. It starts off with the octane gale fire, which is a fantastic decal for a smoky theme. We've got a red primary with a zebra paint finish to give it a fiery effect. We need some smoky wheels and a great option are the grey feros. And finally, we have our boost. There's a few options for a smoky theme, but my favourite one is the grey thermal. Our second element is water, and it's a design by Prime Chris. For this one he based it around Davy Jones, who is a character in Pirates of the Caribbean. The design kicks off with the cephalo wheels in sky blue, matching up with the tentacle beard of Davy Jones. Bubbly is a fantastic decal on any water theme, but I think it's especially great here because those bubbles do resemble the suction cups on a tentacle. To fit with the pirate theme, we've got the cavalier topper, and finally you've got some great water accessories such as the Hydro Boost and the Toon Hydro Trail. Our next element is Digital, a sub-element of tech and it's a design by Gabby PM. It starts off with that iconic color coding scheme of green and black. You've then got the Octane Bleep Bleep for an 8-bit theme. For the digital theme, we've got the Special Edition Yankee Wheels and they're a nice eye-catching piece for this design. Finally, we have our accessories which fit really well. The boost is the Forest Green Data Stream and then you've got the very appropriate Binary Trail. Our next element is Demonic, a sub-element of darkness. For this design, we're going to need an evil car, and I can think of no better choice than the Ripper. For the wheels, we have the Madness 2 painted crimson. They fit the evil theme, but they've also got a lot of metal matching up with the Ripper. We then, for our topper, have the Chilin horns and painted crimson. They do look quite evil. We've got a crimson streak wave decal because it's very loud and aggressive. The final item in this design is the Crimson Tachyon. Has a bit of an ominous sound to it, but it also does pair up nicely with our colors of black and crimson. Mm. Pull up, pull up. There is an imaginary string over your head pulling you up, pull up. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. To fight that demon, we're gonna need something angelic, which is a sub element of light. We've got perhaps the least aggressive car in the game, the Scarab, equipped with its Bomani decal. This I think really works with the theme because it's got those heavenly clouds on it. We then have a very fitting piece, the Angel Wings Topper. For our wheels, we're going to want something soft and gentle, so we've got the White Zombas. And finally, for our boost, with our Angelic theme, I don't think you'll find anything better than the Titanium White Sacred. This time we're back into the darkness element, but this time it's for space. This is also a design made by the very fantastically named Decomposing Cockroach. The design kicks things off with the Artemis GXT, which I think is a fantastic choice because it looks like a spaceship. For our wheels, we've got the very unique Celestial Wheels. You've then got the Starscape Universal Decal, and the final finishing piece that really matches the design is the Battle Stars boost. We 
We're then tapping into the ice element with this Winter Wyvern. The design kicks things off with the Octane Dragon decal. We've then got our paint finishes. There's the stamped metal paint finish on the secondary, which is great for creating an ice texture. And we've got Metallograph on the primary, making it look like the dragon's flying over some water. Went with the FSL B wheels in sky blue for an icy and fiery effect. And finally, there's some great ice based accessories to go for, such as the Frostbite Boost and the Winter Storm Trail. Our next design comes out from Podge, and it works both in the Magic Element and the Lightning Sub-Element. The design starts off with a nice combination of the Reactor Wheels, pairing up with the color and effect of the Power Shot Boost. To match up with all this electricity, you've got the Dominus Savage decal. For the paint finishes, you've got the straight line for some texture, and the anodized on the secondary to make that lightning shine. They bounce off the walls as echoes and are detected by the bat's huge ears. These are in constant movement and enable the bat to map its surroundings with remarkable precision. Our next design is sound, which is a sub-element of wind. The design starts off with the mantis, which has a flat and wide bat shape. However, the mantis was also picked up for its mega bat decal. And to tie this into the sound element, we've got the Z-Fram wheels. The pulsing animation on these represents the echolocation that bats use. We close off today's design with a nice and gentle time theme by Fab M. For any time-based design, the clockwork wheels are a fantastic choice. And then he paired this up with the partly cloudy decal to create a time-lapse effect. The final piece to go with the clouds on the decal is the Titanium White Neothermal Boost. But that is going to be a wrap for today's Fashion Friday. We'd love for you guys to let me know in the comments what you thought your favorite design was. And if you guys would like to get involved in these Fashion Fridays, be sure to join our Discord server linked in the description. Also, if you guys are enjoying these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will catch you, my friends, in the next video. Bye.